If you look real carefully, and you'll see a golden silk spider, what some people call a banana spider. When the sun hits the web just right, it'll appear kind of a golden a yellow color. And she'll roll this leaf up like a little burrito, and she'll lay a couple hundred eggs in there. And then with a piece of thread, she'll tie this leaf onto the plant. All the leaves will be gone, and you'll see a couple little leaves up there flapping in the wind. And if you look real carefully, it'll just be full of spider web. It's a baby bold jumping spider. It's a very outgoing bold spider oh. uh, from the Sultisidae family. Now, there are Putnam spiders around here which are very similar looking to the bolds, but they have a metallic sheen on their abdomen which would not be easy to see in this light. We give them a little bit of gas to sedate them temporarily and then we get 20 to 30 seconds to get very close up photos of the full dorsal view which is just the back. We get to look at the eye arrangement which is a good way to tell what kind of species they are because it's different with each kind. We try to get a belly shot because the giveaway is on the bottom of the abdomen, the ventral side. The also, you know, why not check out the spinneret, you know? <laughs> they have different numbers of fingers for different kinds of spiders, which I think is fascinating. We're drawing a lot of food to her web. But the web gives her an extension of her senses as well as being able to capture the prey from the vibrations that she picks up from the prey. She often knows what kind of prey it is. And the spokes are not sticky, but the radial lines that go round and round are sticky. There she goes. She's envenomating it. She's getting it off the sticky lines. Now she's carrying it up to her hub. She's going to feed on it there. In spite of their reputation for being such scary creatures, they're really just marvels.